Hi, awesome Tecla Warrior. You know that the Tecla Structures 2023 is already out and there are some really cool new improvements and new features. So in this video, I will go give you quickly my top features and improvements that I saw in Tecla Structures 2023. The first thing that catched my eye was the building hierarchies in Tecla Structures. It started already these features in 2022, but um, at that time I didn't, I wasn't using it that much. In 2023, it has been improved much more, and uh, now it takes already the form that uh, I, I tested it out. So first of all, to make it available for you or using this to this tool, you have to go to the advanced options and set this use integrating building hierarchies to true. By default, it's set false. Apply, okay save the model, reopen the model, and after that, on the Manage tab, these buttons will be available. First of all, building hierarchies, why we are using mostly, or what it does is basically we want to define the different uh, floor areas and section areas in our model, and we can use it for when we are exporting our um, IFCs, then this IFC structure always have this building hierarchy structure, and the same information, of course, we can use in drawings and reports also. So I think it's a really nice feature. First of all, of, for being able of seeing these hierarchies in your Decla model, you have to open the view properties display and here you can see building hierarchies. If I turn it on, then we can see the these plane areas or the uh, yes floors and then later space if we turn the space on then we can see the these volume areas of doing the space here you can see for example that uh, there are different heights the different spaces and the spaces we can uh, create also not only rectangular but w according to different shapes it reminds a little bit about organizer location location breakdown structure and it really is I think now this new system will replace the organizer breakdown structure. You can create them. Uh, first of all, here, the building under the building hierarchy, you can see the different this building hierarchy. There is first of all the uh, project level, then comes site level, then building level, then are the these floors, and under the floors we have can see the different spaces. We can select them, use them, modify them. Um, Interesting is that the, these objects are the same way Tecla objects as you can see here modify the Information here also on what level it's located the height bottom offset and name so they work They are quite easy to manage and you can set first time using these two uh, Buttons the first is for creating levels levels is basically one plane area what what represents of some floor height or some level and the second one uh, spaces as you can see in the image these are actual these volumes when some object goes inside this space as you can see here then the this information of the space or the floor is written to the element that we can use it further on nice thing i, I mentioned already organizer so if we open the organizer then at old times we had to do here the manually like set the boundary boxes and then, uh, as I mentioned also, we could do only these sections, rectangular sections, but right now these uh, sections from the building hierarchy levels and uh, areas, spaces will come automatically here. So we don't have to define anymore these building areas and there are much more um, possibilities that which kind of areas or spaces we can bring here and they will be up updated automatically so we don't have to write this information again every time manually to the objects the information to the objects will go automatically all in all i think it's a really nice feature and um, i recommend of using uh, one thing is that we can import this or define the spaces and levels manually here another thing that i saw also is we can import them from the architecture ifc for example that is our work even much more the second feature that i saw already in before the launch i saw some fuss going around in uh, online world what are the bolts improvements basically what is new here that um, 
first of all we can uh, it's connected with the special holes so we can create the special holes and we can uh, use the same settings for whole whole all these holes if i make it transparent then we can see that uh, there are several different plates and if these bolts are going through then before we could do the same special hole for everybody every like material but now we can you define them separately so first of all the first one i did slot it and we can give these attributes that we could give before also the second one is slot other way around as you can see here plus now the new new a capability or feature is giving the slot offset so this in this one the second layer the slot that is uh, y direction the offset is also given uh, then this old good oversized bolts and the new one is also taped uh, date bolts that gives different value so that's something uh, new that we can do here in the um, with the bolts one really cool cool thing is all, also that you maybe know already we can customize this property bane we can hide some things make it visible and i strongly recommend of uh, modifying and this is something that helps your engineers work more efficiently if only the things that you need to use are visible and things that you don't need are not visible so in that this case for example and here there is this show all properties uh, the one property that I the first thing that I wanted to hide was this connect as uh, if you have seen my lessons then I strongly recommend not using this uh, connect as sub assembly but everybody should in 90 or 95 percent of cases they should use it this as secondary part and to make it even easier and the, and the engineers wouldn't have the possibility of changing it wrong by mistake then we can hide it and then it's not visible here if they want to see then we can show all the properties again so they have to do something in order to see the hidden properties but anyways the main idea is the same you can customize this property bane that i recommend of doing and then if they need it's a little bit similar with the uh, applications component catalog we can sh use this show hidden items if we want but by default we show only the items that we want to show talking about property bane and this what's going on on the right side the next cool thing that i even shared myself also on my linkedin profile <laughs> follow it uh, is actually the property bane on the drawing side so it's really cool that now when we select some objects we can change this objects information already in property bane we don't need to open this uh, a lot of windows is and uh, a lot this new property bane this like properties here or the, this style works with most of the different object types um, we can see the different parts rebar marks um, dimensions and even with the drawing view so as you know if you again have followed my or seen my um, trainings then most of the settings i recommend of doing on the view level and here it's cool that um, I think Tecla and Trimble people think as me so basically you shouldn't need always to change all these view settings that we normally had you can open them still here from the view if you click view you can see all the settings but most of the settings should be saved by default and come automatically when you start drawing the default settings should come automatically and there wouldn't be need of changing all these settings all the time so that's nice that they have brought out for the view settings the most important ones that we really actually most of the times want and should change and then if you, even the object groups if you have the different objects groups the object level settings then you can access them from here also so basically this access to the different uh, view on the view space accessing of different settings just here as in the model area i think it's really cool the next thing that i really like is how rebar shape recognition works it may it handles also the more complicated or this kind of like polo uh, polo rebars much better so here is one example of one curved double d panel that goes curved and then the height change also but what is interesting here that 
these rebars, for example, I have you I have done using these uh, zip tools. And normally, if you are using this tool that follows really well the uh, different shape of concrete elements, then the only downside until now was that uh, it creates these rebars as these like polo polo elements or polo polo rebars single rebars so but the good thing right now is that even if they are like small segments made of small segments and if i inquired information it understands the shape quite nicely the shape is recognized and if i'm going to the drawing side here we can see the shapes if i add quickly with this new way and the new property the uh, here let's add the pull out picture uh, with dimensions and okay let's leave it like this modify and we can see that these simplified actually they are bolo segments of the rebar right now they are coming quite nicely and the values are much better so this kind of simplification is uh, for these rebar modelers really good thing who are doing this kind of um, special rebars. The last improvement in top five, in my opinion, is this printing improvement. So basically we have different, um, really ugly, but we have these different uh, drawings, shop drawings here. When I select them, I print them and we can see the printing preview and everything until here is really the same. But the thing that has been changed it when I print, then it gives the this kind of like warning of preview of the drawings that needs numbering and the drawings that need even the updating so I can choose if I want to print only the up-to-date drawings that is recommended or I can also do the numbering and updating before the printing drawing so or if I do this recommending way I print them and then once they are read once they are printed we can see this uh, printing summary where we can see what drawings were not printed because they were not up to date or they needed to numbering. I think it's small thing, but it's useful thing. With that, the same way, uh, similar thing is not with um, printing, but instead with exporting. So many times I know a lot of, especially with general arrangement drawings, there are a lot of uh, engineers who are doing the section and um, maybe the details, different views they put on the side of the drawing uh, outside of the drawing like paper size and then they print it out and export in this case uh, normally this outside of the uh, drawing frame or the paper size these drawings went also when we uh, exported dvg and dxf files but if you check uh, check or turn it on then these views shouldn't come on the dvgs and uh, DXF files exported in printing area they are anyways not because we are printing the paper size only but be careful with that I'm not sure if it includes or takes into the consideration of the bill of materials that are on the drawing reports so if you are showing on your GA drawing you are doing some other view is outside of the uh, drawing area even though in the DVG you can't see these views, but I think on the bill of material and these reports, these elements out of the area will still be there. So mm, be careful with that, but otherwise I think it's for a lot of people step forward and it eliminates this kind of like by mistake uh, exporting the, some views that they actually don't want to export. And one small bonus for you, as you have been so patient and watched until end of the video, it's a little bit more advanced setting or something, but I still see that it's worth of mentioning. Until now, for example, when we did our uh, sandwich wall panels or normal precast wall panels, we had the electricity in front and back side. Uh, until now, I have used the um, user-defined attributes to add this information, is it front or back? backside and then we want to give the different dimensions plus give the different different um, tagline to this uh, front and back line backside of electricity elements now there is a new possibility that we can set that objects on the selected side only are shown and we can set here if that this filter would work only for the front side of 
in this case of electrical elements or the backside there are two different filters and this in using this feature uh, without setting manually the user defined attributes we can easily have different dimension lines automatical dimension lines to our um, electricity elements on our precast drawings it's not only for this case i think you can find some other use cases also but this is what came first in my mind and the last improvement that already i think started from 2022 small thing uh, is that uh, a lot of people are complaining or telling about dropping speed and the cloud Trimble is really working with that so there is by default the drawing rendering in the advanced option this uh, gdi but it's recommended of using fork and uh, now with these last two versions it has come even more faster and more effective than it was previously so try out i recommend of trying out this fork rendering uh, rendering method or engine rendering engine and see if your drawings are getting faster